when you use a natural stone, you just you just don't know where you're going to end up. I use various tools to get the textures, and then here's an otter that I have tucked into the um, caribou's antlers, and then on top of the otter is a, a raven. It's just how I see them. You know, that's how I see an animal. We see all these animals. I've gotten to know them. You know, I've been making animals since I was a little kid. So it's just, you know, it, it's just evolved. There's been more than a few stone pieces where I'll be out here working and I don't even realize I have to get time. him to stop. That's looking a little better. All right, let's have a look. I'd like to retain this and then this and then it come back down. So you're going to so, cut Yeah, that this comes out. That's got to come out. Lee and I go over a lot of our design ideas together and she might have a totally different idea what to do with this. It's really unusual granite, isn't it? So a lot of times what we'll do at this stage is um, you know, kind of stop and, and draw the shape out. We could do, you know, 50 sketches with a piece like this. We read about this project and it sounded like right up our alley. I don't know, you wanted it to be perfect. The first moment it's just, you know, really exciting and then it becomes a little terrifying, you know. This is the first time we've done really big stone, that many big stone pieces. Here at Children's, we see kids from all over the state and, and out state. A lot of the kids here are very sick. When you have a very sick child and you're scared and you're anxious, you need to have symbols of hope and you need to have symbols of childhood. And things like those sculptures represent that. I think the kids can look at them and they can use their imaginations. The snowshoe hare is there to listen and the owl's there to watch over them at night. I think my favorite is the bear because of the, it expresses a powerful emotion. When you have a mom bringing their child in a wheelchair out for the first time, that first impressions make a huge difference. They could engage with their child, oh, what do you think that animal is? Or they have real discussions that, you know, uh, help them feel normal again. And I think that feels really good for parents too. Our clay work was really taking on more and more of a stone look to it. The abstract is much, it is more difficult. When you do an abstract piece, you have to stop a lot of the time and examine the stone. Okay, where am I? If I start removing this, what is it gonna do? Bison-like yeah. bison or bear-like, bear you know, you can see the, you know, this would be, of course, the bottom, so. Yeah, I was just starting to see this as a vertical form. We never feel like clabbering is a compromise. We always feel like it's coming up with a third idea, a better idea. Just got so many ideas. I mean, it just, it, we'll never get to them.